three. Are they doing by three or three or four point? Like I see like a twenty seven to twenty three. What up, what up, what up, what up, what it do? I should just stand here the whole time just like this. Just like this. Or like this. Or like this. I mean, it's all the same, but I'm going to take it like this. Last week, if you saw the video I did, my prediction was if Jimmy plays, we win. And it come down to the defense. And guess what? We're going to win by three or four. And what did we win by? Three. Man. I told y'all. Don't say that I didn't say nothing, man. I told y'all. That game was crazy. Man. It looked ugly in the beginning. Ugly. But the Rams fucked up as soon as they went for that shotgun motion on third down and one or two, something like that. Man, they fucked up. And they gave, they, they gave the ball back to the Niners with a few minutes left or a minute and a half or something. And we got that momentum going into the halftime and coming back straight with it. Oh, boy, the Niners came with it, I tell you. Man. And that's where the Rams fucked up. And I'm going to say this. We own the Rams. We own the Rams. You can't tell me nothing like Kanye said. Nothing. Because we own your motherfuckers. Till you have one, then we can talk. But right now, psh, I'm going to say nothing. Okay? I don't want to hear nothing about nothing when it comes down to the Rams and the Niners. You know what I mean? Back to the game. Debo, man, made a crazy throw. Jennings came through twice. You know what I'm saying? Kittle did it. He wasn't much part of it, but he did enough, you know what I'm saying, to just distract the defense and get all the motherfuckers open. You know what I'm saying? Running back came through, did his thing. You know, we got our open holes the game through. Uh, Jimmy, like I said, man, I, I hate to keep beating the same drum left and right and over and over and over and over and over and over. But I told you, I told you. Jimmy was going to get it done if he was playing. So all you fake-ass Niners want to be fans who always talk shit about Jimmy and whoop the bot Man, look, what are you saying now? Where, where you at right now? Like, what do you say now? After, you know, after they get that win, what are you going to say? Oh, oh, it's locked. Oh, he got us. He threw it through interception. whoop the bot That boy got hit in the helmet in the first interception. Interception. You know what I'm saying? Like... Yeah, he threw a bad throw in the middle, but that shit should have came back. But anyways, my point is that when Jimmy played, he got us a W. He made two drives happen at the end to get us that W. So I don't even want to hear nothing about Jimmy and this, this, and that, man. All you fucking people who always talking this and that about Jimmy and then they want to be like, oh, I was wrong. I was this. I was that. It's like, man, you've been wrong the whole time, pimp. All these fools from 95.7 always hating on Jimmy and shit, talking this, this, and that. Guru always like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Man, and then the next day you come and say, I was wrong. I should have done this. I should appreciate him more than that. Man, I don't even want to hear that. I don't even want to hear none of that, man. The thing is that you are too emotional with the, when it comes down to these games and, and, and these teams. You don't think like, look, this guy, you don't look at facts. Y'all looking at, you're going by your emotion. Like, oh, he, he could have not done that. Just like when Trey played. Oh, Jimmy would have not done that throw that Trey did and this, this, and that. Man, he did. He did that long throw. He did it against the Green Bay three years ago. So I don't even want to hear that shit, man. Like, honestly, you don't even know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? It takes a lot to understand this game. And I'm not going to say I understand it all 100% complete, but I'll tell you this. I'm not going to jump to the conclusion and say that Jimmy doesn't get it done or Jimmy's not our best choice right now. You know what I'm saying? He is still in the team, so therefore it puts him at number one, number one choice. You know what I'm saying? So 
that's the way I see it. So when you talk bad about Jimmy, I, it makes you think like you don't know what you're talking about, bro. Honestly, because you're not looking at the facts, you're not looking at the numbers. All you're doing is going by that, and that shit ain't gonna get you like where you're supposed to be at when it comes down to this game. Because if you're gonna get all emotional, you're you're gonna be like this. Oh, he's the bad. Oh yeah, he's the right. He's the right QB. Oh no, he's not. Oh, put Trey. Oh no, nah, yeah. Oh. Fuck all that shit, man. I tell you, when this year, like I said a couple of weeks ago, when this year is over, then we talk about that. You know what I'm saying? In the meanwhile, let's keep it rolling. Let's keep doing what we're doing. We got Cowboys next. Man, I swear, that we, this game's going to be off the hook, man. And I, and, and, it's, and I told you last week it's going to come down to the defense, and the defense won the game at the end. You know what I'm saying? Jimmy did his thing. He took him down to the field goal. Bam, and then guess what? Whose turn was it to win? It was a defense turn to win it, and they did. So they both did their part, you know what I mean? They both did. It ain't going to be any different when it comes down to this next game against the Cowboys. It's going to be a, a motherfucking physical, physical game. You know what I mean? It's going to be about that running. It's going to be about those five throws and, and then the yaks, you know, the yards after catch. He was... D boy and, and Kittle, they they gonna be gonna be put to work. I'm telling you, man, you're not listening, man. Like I've been telling you this, like Jimmy, even though he's not gonna throw over 20 yards or whatever, he's gonna make those throws that we need. But don't get it wrong, Cowboys are gonna come with it too. But you know what? I don't think the Niners are gonna be like over scared of this team and whatever. You know, hell no. I mean, even as a fan, like hell no. Bring the Cowboys, bring them, bring them. You know what I mean? bring them and, and and then we'll, we'll we'll see what happens after that you know what i mean but this past game like i said uh, i'm not mad at the coach the rams coach running to the to, uh, to the uh end zone and celebrating i mean that's what you're supposed to do but you know what i think it's better when you do that on the fourth quarter and you're up by a few touchdowns you don't do that like second quarter you know what i mean like Ooh, it's a little too early, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that he took a, took his foot off the, the gas, but he sure knew that he look he he knew that shit was coming because even at halftime when they reported it and said that they that I think it was the chick who said, Oh yeah, he said the Grams coach said that we gotta finish. Like he already knew that someone's gonna jump off as soon as, you know, the Niners were gonna get that ball back. He knew that was just like this ain't over yet. You can't count the Niners off like that. Hell no. And guess what? That's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. The Niners came through and then they did their thing, you know, Jimmy came through and did his thing, you know what I'm saying? So that's the way you finish a game. You started all a little shaky, but you know I mean fuck it. You know what I mean? We didn't get in we, we didn't lose. We didn't wait on another team for us to get in. You know, we didn't get slapped around. We didn't get embarrassed. None of that. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes down to the next game, I think the Niners are going to be, they're going to have that momentum. And, and and I think the Cowboys are going to be like, oh, we just beat the Eagles. But you know what? The Eagles were playing with a bunch of people that we don't even know. You know what I'm saying? They have a lot of people who are injured. So when it comes down to Sunday, I can't call it yet. Let me look into more and, and, and numbers and, and what's going on with the teams and shit. Today's barely Tuesday. So I'll make another video and see who I think is going to win or what is gonna, the game going to look like. But, yeah, I got to give myself props, you know what I mean, for calling it out last week, how the game was going to go against the Rams. So, yeah, anyways. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Clay, boy, that boy Clay is back. and He came through and did his thing on Sunday like he was supposed to. He was hot. He came nice, man. He came nice. He did his thing, man. That was that was that was that was nice. He came back. It was a good Sunday, man. It was a good Sunday. I do gotta say I was wrong about the Raiders, but then again, you know, that game was just like back and forth and shit. And then, you know, I don't really put too much attention to a Raider game. I just kinda throw something out there what I feel like is gonna happen. So therefore on Sunday I think the Raiders are gonna probably go home. So let's just say, you know. I'm just throwing it out there pretty much. But yeah, so, um, yeah, so stay tuned. Let me know what you think the the score is going to be with the Niners and the Cowboys. And then I'll do another quick video to let you know what I think is going to happen on Sunday. Subscribe. And...
give your boy a thumbs up or down. It doesn't really matter. It's all good. Anyways, I'm out. Bang, bang, nine, gang, all day. That's how it is.